Hello, Heidi. Welcome. Hi. We're going to talk today. You meet Matilda, rocket builder. <laughs> And when you first drew Matilda, that was the very first thing I saw. I just knew that you had to illustrate this book. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. It's, it's wonderful to work with you and, and Matilda. <laughs> a bit, to bring a bit of the uh, inner passionate geek forward. And <laughs> well, do you know, actually, the reason I wrote this was I was writing a book of poetry about the moon. and. I was sat there thinking, this is really old technology, sort of 50, 60 years old technology. And I began to think, we have done so many things since then. You know, we've had kind of like self-driving cars. We've got um, kind of like really cool kind of, we can map the human genome. Uh, we can kind of make cakes in a microwave or a little mug, which is amazing. And, uh, and we can do all these things. So I thought, how difficult could it be to really build a Saturn V? And, and then I found it was not quite as easy as I thought. So how did you find it when you came to illustrate it? What did you what did you think? I think you believe it's perfectly possible. Throughout, I believe it's possible that Matilda can build this, this rocket. I want her to get to the moon. But seeing her like journey throughout and she's so excited about it. And so, you know, she researches it and she kind of realizes her mistakes and, and it's it's really real, which is really it's appealing for I think children, it's appealing for adults and kind of following your dreams and going, Yeah, let's you know, give it a go. And if you can't do it, find a way around it. And it's it's all coming together. What was your what's your favorite? I've got a favorite illustration that I've seen so far of yours. <laughs> what's your favorite? I quite, I quite like, there's one where Matilda's sat surrounded by loads of books looking a bit frazzled. And then there's one, I think, I'm not sure whether, you, whether you'll have seen it yet, but she's um, she's packing a suitcase and she's got like little space t-shirts and kind of things going on. I quite like that as well, but yeah. You never, it might be still to come, there's a few bits to do still. Ooh, I'm excited. See, my, my favourite's not quite as highbrow as that. I like the little poo chart that you did. Oh really? Oh, when she's cool. at, at near the beginning. Oh nice. <laughs> when she's figuring out how many poos she'd have uh, throughout oh. the, the, the journey. <laughs> and you've got a little uh, okay. Well again that is it's so fun, isn't it? Because it's not boring science, it's fun science. It's a science I wish I'd had when I was a kid. One of the points of the book was that I wanted to do was see if I could understand some pretty complex science going on here. Science, yeah. right. I mean, it doesn't kind of pull its punches, does it, with it? No, it doesn't. With the that going here. But if, and, and the only way I can understand things is to repeat them to myself in a simpler way. I cannot praise your work on this enough. It's just fantastic. <laughs> I can't wait for people to, to read it and to, to look at it and to go, actually, you know, maybe maybe I could build my own. Yeah, I I think I might have a got a cardboard one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 